We are studying the relationship between balding and skin cancer. The way we do this is we use a very large set of genetic data to infer whether the relationship between balding and skin cancer is causal. The main reason you might assume that one is causing the other is straightforward. You've got less hair cover on your skin. Your skin is more exposed to the sun. Unless you wear a hat and you're careful and wear sunscreen, you're at a greater risk of developing skin cancers. The other um, hypothesis is that um, testosterone levels is a major driver of baldness and testosterone levels um, have been shown in some studies to potentially be related to your risk of developing melanoma in and by itself. If the, the risk is solely driven by sun exposure, that you have less hair and you get burnt more often, that informs how we might manage that condition. If it is testosterone driving skin cancer, then that might inform how you might manage risk. There is no evidence showing that genetically, people with genetically high levels of testosterone do develop uh, skin, can uh, skin cancer at a higher risk. So you busted the myth? Um, pretty much. We've certainly made it very unlikely the myth is true. It is very unlikely that your levels of testosterone are playing a role or a strong role in your risk of skin cancer. We managed to show that balding do cause skin cancer. Part of this relationship between balding and skin cancer is explained by sun exposure as well as pigmentation. However, majority of this relationship is still explained by uh, a potential sun exposure. The relationship between uh, balding and skin cancer seems to be enriched, particularly around the scalp region, which common sense tells us that's probably due to less hair covering, longer sun exposure. It's really important that we say, and we use the resources we have to say with confidence, this thing does this. It doesn't just turn up with it, it does this. Therefore, if we interfere with that earlier risk, we'll have a meaningful outcome. Thank you.